welcome to Friday. Today is Canada Day in Canada, which is basically Canada's birthday. So it is a holiday for us and we are all celebrating Canada's beautiful birthday. So I have an interesting story to tell you guys. Hopefully, hopefully I have an interesting story. This, you guys might remember, is Sam's den in the barn. Clearly he doesn't come in here often. All right, well, the story is that we used to have this saddle. Sam bought this saddle. He bought a saddle, and it was too small for all of our horses. It was like, um, it was a narrow saddle. And since we knew we were never going to have a narrow horse, I don't know if I got rid of it or if I gave it, like, we had it here for the longest time. And then I said to Sam, like, I'm trying to clean up this room. This is your saddle. You bought it. You get to keep it, so put it someplace, please. And now, I'm not exactly sure where it is. They left these. Oh, so we had company last I night. Sour, so. Gummy candy. Sophie's trying not to eat gummy candy. I don't even like sour. Literally had this saddle here for years, like years and years. And I was like, you can't rid of this saddle, Sam. I thought I put it in his, in that room, so that he could get rid of it because I didn't want to throw it out. I don't know where we put it, so let's take a look around. I just have the weirdest feeling that we tossed the saddle. But anyway, the story about the saddle is this was like years ago Sam bought the saddle. So we were driving to Toronto, which is a couple hours away from us, and Sam said, hey, there's this lady, she's selling saddles, and I'm, I bought one, pick one. So we looked at the ad, we didn't know anything about saddles or horses. So we bought this saddle, it was when we just first got Storm, and we picked the one that we liked the best and it turned out to be a narrow saddle and it didn't fit him so we've been holding on to it this whole entire time until just recently and when i told him like get rid of the saddle but he never ever does listen to me look scream you guys if you see a saddle <laughs> this is all sam's like this is essentially his garage this room and some of you guys probably didn't even know that this room existed this is a small room in our barn, which I wanted to keep like as the tack room, which I'm glad I didn't because it's attached to the arena and all the dust and stuff comes in here. But if I found that saddle, I'd be so excited. Oh. This is what I gave her. So he gave her that to scratch because, <laughs> holy moly, that's got to have hurt. Yeah, Penny. Take that off. yeah, let's take that off. Penny. So, oh my gosh, where did that come from? So I think that brush must be doing the same thing. Oh, oh, so it Sam. Like oh, so it's these it's things. More of Penny. Yeah, Penny pickle. <gasps> Look at that. So. I uh, told you guys like a long time ago, I've gotten so many messages. See, look, she's already telling me that when their bums get dirty, they get itchy and even their, their udders. She's looking so cute still. Like horses have been on grass. Still looking cute, you guys, we're doing it. Yeah, Gracie doesn't do it. Anyway, it's true, all of our horses lift their lift their tails when I walk by them if they think, especially our boys and Penny, our bigger horses more, if they think I'm gonna clean their butt. So Not Yeah, no chance does. No. No chance does like his bum cleaned. You've never cleaned his bum. Yeah. No. So that's the thing, you guys, I clean all of our horses' bums. I clean all their udders. I clean all the bits and all the pieces. And you have to like <gasps> Penny pickle. <laughs> oh, all right, that's she's okay. Her head? Yeah, she's using it. She likes it. If that's safer than those little things that they use to pull out her tail, then good job, Sam. She likes it. She loves it. They didn't take long to learn about that. Sam, she's using it. She loves it. Oh yeah, her head, her neck, her chin. She just loves that thing. Where'd you find out about it? I just saw her scratching all the time, so I was like, maybe if I just get a broom and put it there, she'll love it. Yeah, she loves it. <clears throat> she loves it.
she stops when you pull over? I just don't know if I put it too high or too low. I know. Well, she, oh, it must be too low. Be, well, it's probably good because the ponies have to yeah, use it too. And she stretches out her body and bends down so she can reach it. And so that was a hard brush. That was a hard one. Remember that saddle that you bought a lot of yeah, years ago? You probably threw it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I actually did. I think I like one day was like, oh, yeah, I am cleaning this barn. And I think it was recently too. So these are all of our saddles. I don't see it here. I'm going to bring this saddle again just to try it and see. I don't, yeah, I don't think it does fit, but I don't think we even really gave it like try. So that saddle that I threw out probably like, probably like two months ago. Well, we just, Chance came like two months ago. So probably like two and a half months ago that saddle I threw out was a thoroughbred saddle. It was meant for thoroughbred. So we never expected that we would like ever be riding a thoroughbred. And so I threw it out. Always happens to me, you guys, always. So essentially, I think I threw out a perfect saddle for Chance, but we'll never get the chance to try and see because I threw it out. Anyway, moving on, we can't get the saddle back. I just wanted to talk about, about the saddle fitting issue that we're having with Chance. And I can still see that there's some confusion in the, in the comments. Like, one girl asked me, why would you fit the horse before you fit Sophie? So essentially, we can find any saddle in Sophie's size that will fit Sophie. Obviously, she's, her body shape is gonna want a different kind of shape, a specific kind of shape, and we'll deal with that after. But getting, um, finding the right saddle for the horse is definitely more difficult than finding a saddle that fits Sophie. So again, our plan is to find a saddle that fits Chance now and, and, that he likes and then buy one in that style or and then buy it but buy it in Sophie's size if that makes sense. There are so many used saddles out there and we will just be looking for one that a brand that Chance likes in the style that he likes that will also fit Sophie. I'm not sure how other people do it though so I'm curious if so I am curious like do you go out find a saddle that you like and that fits you and then try and fit it to your horse? Is that what people do? I'm, I honestly don't know. I, I'm totally interested. Comment below how that's done, how you do, how that, how that works. Uh, that's how we're doing it with our saddle fitter. I've learned so much from her. I love her. I love everything about her. Uh, the saddle, the, any saddle that we get right now is not going to be a saddle that fits him perfectly because he's so under muscled. And so we're looking for the best fit and um, that it can be adjusted and changed so it will be wool flocked so that she can adjust it as time goes on um, or it'll be an adjustable saddle that we can adjust as time goes on so I don't know we're still at the beginning of this saddle journey it takes a while to get a saddle we are here and we are with Mr. Chance what oh my goodness I think it might just be like red hairs going in but like Sophie notices like every little tiny Oh, yeah. that's something. It could be poo. I think it's just, no, it's not poo. Oh. <laughs> I think it's just red hair growing in on the spots that horses bit him there. Because he has like a bunch of scratches. Yeah, I think, or trees. He's scratching his head. And then I think like Joe's orange hair growing in. Which All is right. really sad. Alright, so we're at the barn and we are getting ready blood on his nose. for Sophie's lunging lesson. One thing about Chance that people might not know is that he loves his bum being cleaned and he loves his bum. Being brushed. being brushed but he has been itchy as well as you can see chance also has a really thin tail because it's a thoroughbred too yeah it, it's not black. super bad it'll be nice once he stops scratching oh i showed you guys that we got this cowgirl up with green area solution i forget what the cost of it is it's so good though it's like i don't even know because i didn't look it up but i think it's all natural and it's like oils and stuff. Anyway, it works so good. I put it, last night I tried it out. I put it on me. Uh oh, that's not our locker. I put it on me on the bottom of my legs to see because we went out to have a fire. No bugs came near my legs, but they came to the whole rest of my body that I didn't put it on. That Arius solution. I put it on myself last night. What stuff? That Arius bug spray. You want it in your thing? Yeah. 
Wow, well, that's a good point. All right, go put it in your bag. Yeah, all this I used on my horse. I used to spray it on my hand too. Yeah. To yeah. rub it on. Like yeah, we're gonna have to invest in that. Yeah. Get a lot more. I'll just buy like a whole case of these. Yeah, I like it. It works really good. And it smells like lemons. It smells like lemons and it lasts a long time, you guys. So anyway, if you wanna try it, it's from Cowgirl Up With Green. And they have a website, obviously, but you can get it there. You guys know thoroughbreds have funny skin. They're sensitive to everything. They're sensitive, like their skin is sensitive and the bugs bother them. Thoroughbreds are a whole nother breed. Another thing about that spray is if you get it in your eyes, it does not sting. Really? You got it in your eyes? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and if you put fly spray in your eyes, then it stings so badly. Yeah, and I don't... Like when you spray it out of the wind blows, out of like when you're spraying oh. it, it sprays on you. Oh. It gets in your eyes. Oh. It sting. oh, all right. Are we ready? So today, Sylvie is going to do her lunging thing, lunging thing and we have somebody helping us. And oh, I know so, it's hideous. We have to use pink on a chestnut. <laughs> it's hideous. This is hideous. I mean, it's a nice halter, but like pink on a chestnut. Okay, so this is Sophie's rope halter. Back in the day, like we've learned so much about saddle fitting and we've learned so much about halters, and this is not the best halter that Sophie has. One that I have is totally different. He's got these four knots. So we decided to use this on Chance today for lunging. Hopefully you guys are gonna get to see a difference. I'm not gonna video the girl that's helping us. Um, for obvious reasons, sometimes people like stalk people that I show in our videos and yeah, I just wanna, wanna we don't wanna bring drama to other people. So anyway, we're gonna get started. Um, but I'm I, to show them something. Okay, hold on. I also have this lunging rope. No, I also have this lead rope that I got from a friend and it's actually really cool and you can even use it for lunging. But the, for the purpose of this video, I think she's probably just going to use a longer lunging rope. I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know because uh, we're waiting for the girl to tell us what she thinks we should use. I was just talking to my friend Allie and she was explaining to me, or she was telling, asking me questions about the saddle fit and she's like bigger up in the show circuit than we are. She shows in the States and you guys know, I've showed her in our videos before. Anyways, she, she was saying, she was saying that any saddle fit that she's ever had um, has been different than the saddle fit that we did and I was talking to her and it made me realize that maybe you guys don't understand that the saddle that we're fitting Chance for currently is not his like saddle that he'll be ridden in once he's done developing. Like he has a lot of muscle to build, a lot of muscle. So the, he's not gonna fit the saddle. His final saddle is not gonna be the saddle we're getting right now. The saddle that we're attempting to get right now is only temporary so uh, that he can be ridden while he's building muscle. Baby, I shouldn't call you leave a message at all so i try to be patient because nothing's written on the wall yet yeah, so what she's saying is basically that sophie needs to give him a tiny little tug on the lead rope every time she notices his attention wandering so that he's always paying attention to her so i try to be patient Cause nothing's written on the wall Yet yeah, it's too soon to mention Alright, so what she's saying is that Sophie almost gets in front of his lead His Sophie almost gets in front of his drive line And so she needs to be mindful of that And it, that when he takes the corners Is when he's not paying attention So she needs to give little teeny tiny tugs So that he's always paying attention to her I've begun to feel that I want your attention This time it is for real Oh baby, love me like you did last night I wanna hold you till the morning comes Oh baby, love me like you did Love me like you did oh, Right now we're just getting him to use his, move his hindquarters because he doesn't seem to understand that Sophie can make him move his feet. So that's what we're working on right now.
figure out like, yeah, like you guys, this is baby steps. She's taking the opportunity that's been afforded to her so that she can learn all this stuff with him. He's a baby, she's learning it. She wants to make a partnership with him. I, I love this. <laughs> Chase is like, I'll take this. This is boring, he says. Oh baby, love me like you did last night. The boy, yeah. You could let it you go into his face. He's so cute though. Don't you think he's so cute? Oh, we're gonna just lunge him at a walk for two circles each way so that it doesn't end on like a frustrating note for him because Sophie got him under control and said, No, you're not allowed to do that. And so we wanna end it like where he's taking home a favorable impression. Ended on a good note, just a little walk, and then they're gonna do something. She's gonna let him have an opportunity to walk around and snoop, which is one of his favorite things to do.
amazing, awesome, incredible. We learned so much. I thought when I edit this video, I'm gonna try and put in like all the stuff that the, that our, that the trainer that was helping us said. Um, she also said like, don't forget, Sophie's just learning. Don't forget her reaction time is gonna get faster. She's gonna like pick it up better as she goes. But it was really interesting, really fun. It was so good, such a good lesson. Like all the times that we've let him run on the lunge line and just looked away instead of like correcting him. It's gonna create a monster if we don't get it under control. But having help really makes it so much better. And you guys, that's what it's about. It's about having help. Like nobody just knows stuff. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the